thinking about doing something crazy and funny, but, you know, I figured we got something different. I'm going to read to you a letter that I actually wrote to you last year, but I never sent it to you. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Dear Jay, I'm sitting on the flight home right now from Foose's wedding, and while I should be writing my paper, I can't let go of the stupid smile on my face or how big my heart feels after spending the weekend with you and Tani and the rest of the gang. I truly mean it when I say these times recharge the batteries. Somehow we were all lucky enough to find each other, and even more so be dedicated to each other for so many years. That being said, you know I was super nervous to meet Tammy this weekend. In 2010, Megan picked me up from LAX for CMF, and the second sentence out of her mouth was, mark my words, Kim, he's gonna marry her. <laughs> then there was your call that came out of left field telling me that you bought the ring, but you described it perfectly. You said, everybody's telling me I should be nervous and deliberating, but the truth is I'm not. It's all so easy, and that's how I know it's right. So after spending over 10 hours with a, in a car with just you and Tammy and Leo this weekend, <laughs> I can tell you that Tammy is, in a word, wonderful. It seems when you two are together, every single tiny moment is a great story. I mean, you said you couldn't fall asleep the night before because you were too busy laughing at one word on SNL Boo. <laughs> after that, you couldn't wait to tell me these precious little stories about me, Leo or the cats or an avocado or Tammy nieces, etc., etc. To some of these might seem trivial, but it was clear that you two just being together had made each and every little thing in your life just shine a little bit brighter. It was infectious, and pretty soon I was caught up in the big bubble of love. Aside from everything else shining bright, an even better part is to watch you two celebrate each other. She gets you, Jay. She knows exactly how much to tease you and push your buttons and exactly when to ease your mind, make you laugh, and remind you that everything will be okay. I'm hoping you can read my mind right now because I can't put into words what you mean to me as a friend. And every time I listen to another ridiculous voicemail, I look up and say, I am so lucky to have Jay in my life and you've made me a better person. So I guess this stupid smile on my face is because I see how much bigger and more awesome my best friend's world is about to become. So yeah, I approve. Love, Kim. <laughs>